It's me, the girl who got the display box, but I did actually purchase one Miniverse appliance ball, and you can see it in that picture there, and this one here too. My whole purpose for getting the display box is because I in particular wanted that espresso machine in that color as well. They do have an eight count total of their appliances and it seems to be two of each appliance with either different drinks or different color choices for their machines. Um, I actually like both the pink and the teal but the teal one is on the box as a display so you know I had to get that and then I did get a different ball but we don't know what we got until I open it up. I'd also like to point out real quick since I do have the display box that there was only two balls left when I got it. So this is the ball here and as you can see the ball size compared to my hand it's pretty huge. I'm really having to grasp the whole ball. It also says espresso on the side and it has been pointed out in the past that sometimes this is a giveaway of what is exactly coming in the ball and I would say for $13 USD that's a pretty good thing that they did that. The only risk I take with getting a ball that says espresso and obviously getting the display box is that I run the risk of possibly getting two of the same espresso machines in the same color. But I am hoping for the pink espresso machine because I really do want it. I also have some of the diner balls. Um, I've been pretty patient in not opening them because I still plan on making a video and you can actually see the size comparison of the two side by side. But obviously the appliance ball has to be much bigger because of the appliance inside. <gasps> Look it, look it, I got the pink. Instead of the green. Yeah, that's awesome. Heck yeah. I picked the right one then. Yeah, you did. Okay, so I paused the video here because you may hear Nick in the background. He was with me that day when we went shopping and I picked out the ball to get with the display box. And there was two balls left. There was the espresso one and there was another one that said boba. And I almost picked the boba one but he was like, wait a second, isn't this what you actually want? And I was like, yeah, it is. So again, I could have gotten the pink or I could have gotten like the teal, the green, um, but we had no idea which one we were going to get. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy he picked out the right one and he is totally giving himself credit in the background about that. Yeah, it is. So I had actually not watched any videos prior to opening this ball. So technically that little black piece underneath, that would actually be the thing that twists and allows the resin to go through. But if you know me, you know I love saving my things and my appliances and I'm actually not going to do that. I've worked with resin before, I know how to use it, so I'm just gonna, if I do make these cups, I'm going to plan on pouring it into the cup as is because I want to actually keep the little appliance. I can smell the resin already. That resin smell is so strong, it's actually giving me a headache. You really need to wear the proper mask when working with resin. Now let's take a moment to admire the miniature cuteness. These containers are so cute and I definitely want to use them in like a kitchen setup or like a little display. 
and especially in my toy photography, these cups are so adorable. I love every single part of it. And now for the display box one. Obviously you can see it's the same machine, just a different color. It's exactly what I was going for originally. And the cups are a different color, same exact thing. Um, everything's here, except there is a difference and I will point that out a little bit later. container as long with the dollops of Cool Whip. Obviously that's all been open and it's on display. This is the difference right here. This bottle was really light because it's empty. There's no resin with this. So if you're like me and you want the display box or maybe you're different from me and you wanted the display box because you thought you were just going to get like a free miniverse appliance set, they made sure to not include any resin. Now I don't know if that's just maybe because technically the boxes are meant to get thrown out and so then they don't want that just to be disposed of that way um or again if they just don't want someone just to get like a free whole setup off of them so i do have one in one where i have some with resin this is my resin one and i really thought in the past the containers came sealed i i thought that for my first set uh, i will have to go look back and see in my video clips but yeah, this is not sealed and that may actually be why the resin smell was so overpowering. But I have one bottle that is completely clean and resin free, which will be perfect for like displays and, you know, to keep around for like play and whatnot. And then obviously I have the one containing the resin. So I'm thinking I might do one in one cup, like one yellow cup and one teal cup with the resin and the little dollops of Cool Whip. I don't think I'm going to actually put the spoons inside because I want to keep those as well. Thanks for watching my two-in-one mini burst appliance video. If you like this video or would like to see more, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. I have more videos of unboxings coming up as well as some gaming videos and a surprise video coming soon. So make sure to stay notified. See you later.